Good morning, guys. Oh, good morning. Today is Monday, as y'all can see. It is 9 a.m. I was supposed to have a lash appointment at 10 and India texted me and asked me if I could come at 3.30 instead, which I kind of figured was gonna happen seeing as though her birthday was yesterday. So I felt like she was out and wasn't gonna wake up. So I should have just texted her last night. Cause I had a feeling like India is not going to want to get up. I don't even know why she had her books open that early, but I didn't even realize when I booked it, I booked it like last week, I didn't realize that her birthday was the day before my appointment. But it's okay. So, I'm gonna do that later instead. I'm grabbing Starbucks right now and then I have a doctor's appointment at two. Just to get, you know, the routine. Pap smear. And then other than that, when I go back, oh, I gotta do my grocery shopping for the week. So I might as well knock that out this morning. Hi, thank you for choosing Starbucks. This is Carla, can I have your name? Chanel. Hey, what can I get start for you today? Um, can I please have the Grande Brown Sugar Oat Milk Shake and Espresso with extra caramel? Extra caramel, okay. Drizzle, yes. And mm -hmm. May I do a toasted plain bagel with cream cheese? Yeah, toasted plain bagel with cream cheese, all right. That'll be it. That'll be it for you? Yes. 
Okay, it's gonna be 1031 also Una. Thank you. So yeah, I originally left the house this early because I wanted to go grab India some flowers um, since her birthday was yesterday on my way to my appointment. But literally as soon as I got in my car and Starbucks is right behind my boyfriend's house. As soon as I got in my car, she texted me. Literally, I got in the car at 9-11. She texted me at 9, but I wasn't paying attention to my phone and asked, can we do 3.30? So, really, I could still be at home. But we're thankful. We're thankful because we're up. And it's going to be a good week. And we're being productive. And my affirmation for the day says, I tap into the joy that flows through the universe. For the new year, I downloaded this app called I Am, and it gives you different affirmations throughout the day, but that's the one that is on the front of my screen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, 10.31 today. Well, let me get my app ready. Is the app Um, The Starbucks app, oh. I think. I love your eyelashes. Thank you. My need. 434 is left. Okay. I got time um what was I saying oh so I've been doing my positive affirmations since the new year and I'm really holding myself accountable and I'm very proud of myself because I have been sticking to all of the things that I wanted to do for the new year oh, so my main thing was to be consistent on YouTube and I've been doing that. Mm. There's nothing like that first sip of coffee in the morning. So, staying consistent on YouTube, getting up earlier, doing positive affirmations, and working out. Um, just having like a consistent workout routine or some type of hobby was my other goal so y'all know that i started pilates i have been consistent at first i bought five classes and i ended up liking them so i ended up buying a membership so i just bought 12 classes per month membership so basically i can go three times a week which is typically what i was doing so that's gonna force me to stick to it. And I'm proud of myself because we are a month into the new year and I feel like I just been out here fucking it up. Like in a good way. I mean, I've been out here crushing it. And I should say. So I'm proud of myself for that. Oh shit. I spilled my cream cheese. And I'm trying not to cuss as much. <laughs> and that one is not working so well, but we're trying. Um but I've also been helping my boyfriend work on a lot of his changes that he wanted to make as well. So I'm proud of him for those because it's been a little struggle but he's been doing so well so i guess i'm gonna still go grab india's gift or flowers since i have the time and then i'm gonna go grab my groceries because why not we're up early 
if I can get all my errands done before my doctor's appointment and lash appointment, that way I can just go back home and get on my laptop. That would be great. Um, yesterday, when I was walking the dogs, I found ten dollars on the ground, and I feel like that was my sign that this week was gonna be a good week. So I'm also excited about that. I was up late last night. Well, not late. I don't know. For me to get up at eight. I usually go to bed at like 2, 3 a.m. And I was watching the Grammys till like midnight. And then I got in the bed. I probably went to sleep at like 1.32. So... I'm trying to get myself to fall asleep earlier so that I can get up earlier. But y'all know I used to work in the club. Well, if you don't know, for the past shit, like four or five years, I worked in the club. I quit like a few months ago. Like, what was that? October? September, October. I officially retired from my nightlife era. But my body is so used to being up because we used to get get off at 3 a.m get home by 3 30 shower get in the bed like by the time i actually fell asleep it used to be like 4 35 in the morning and then i wouldn't wake up till like one o'clock in the afternoon which was fine granted like that the, the hours of my job so i would still get shit done but now i'm trying to get into my grown girl era I had posted on my Instagram what video my followers from Instagram that also follow me on YouTube what videos they wanted to see next and the options were a story time get ready with me was a B a petite girl try on haul C a pamper day slash self care day or D, another weekly vlog. In the top two, story time, get ready with me, like, was like 54% of votes. And then right below it was, um, well, like 20 something percent was weekly vlog. So I'm gonna do both. Still gonna keep up with my weekly vlog. And then I'm also gonna do a story time video. Um, I'll be filming at story time slash get ready with me. I needed to get my lashes done first because child, they looking real sparse over here before I can try to do a get ready with me, do my makeup. So I'll probably film that tomorrow and maybe go to dinner or something. See if one of, one of my friends want to go to dinner so I can actually have a reason to get ready. I hate having to like shoot content or do my makeup or put on clothes and I'm really not going anywhere. That's why it's so hard for me because a lot of times with content on Instagram, people want you to shoot by a certain day or they want you to whatever, be consistent. And it's like, I have a hard time putting on clothes and getting fully dressed when I'm just about to take pictures and then take it off. Though it's not like, okay, yeah, you can wear this outfit again, whatever, cool. But at the same time, it's like, who wants to sit there and put all that makeup on, get completely ready to take photos, and then sit in the house? I'm like, I'm already dressed. I'm already cute. I might as well 
be outside so yeah i'm about to make my way to the bank deposit this money and then i'm gonna head to the grocery store my daddy gonna go she like so what's your sign because i like you thank you good morning y'all so today didn't start off as early as i expected it to i got up last night i couldn't go to sleep so i ended up taking some melatonin and i never take melatonin or anything like that so that shit knocked me out that knocked me out cold so i wasn't able to wake up as early because i felt groggy when i woke up that's why i don't like taking melatonin or any like sleeping medication because when i wake up in the morning i like to feel refreshed not like a zombie but anyway so i woke up at 10 10 30 ish got ready for pilates so that's where we're headed now i didn't even have time to eat breakfast so i have my little to go oatmeal cup that i'm gonna try to eat and drive and I know that's not safe as him, but a girl gotta do what a girl gotta do. This is um, the instant oatmeal by Quaker, maple and brown sugar flavor, but this one has like the extra protein. So I'm gonna eat this. I have Pilates at 12. Then yesterday, India ended up rescheduling me to today, so I didn't end up getting my lashes done. So I'm going to do that later. And I'm going to meet up with my mom. She can help me with some stuff. My mom is like my best friend, my manager, financial advisor, and mom all in one. So I have her in town until tomorrow i think so after pilates i'm gonna pull up on her go get my lashes done and then tonight I'm going to get some dinner with neon and timberland so yesterday when i went to the grocery store so i ended up buying some groceries went home made my boyfriend breakfast then I had to help my grandma with something. Had my doctor's appointment. That was took forever. I was in there for so long. I was not happy. And then after that, I came back to the house. So my boyfriend took me back to Little Women. So in that first video that I showed y'all where we went shopping, Tell me why everything that I got was the wrong size. But I didn't have any workout clothes at his house. So when I was waking up to go to Pilates, I still had to wear it, like put it on, which I could fit it. So I got a size zero in the pants and a two in the sports bras and tops. And I could fit it, but it was like extremely tight to the point where when I'm sitting down, it's like my stomach is squeezed over the top. And I'm skinny, but baby, those their stuff is clearly made for women. Got straight up and down. So we went back yesterday and got some twos in the pants, cause I got zeros. So I needed a two in pants and then a four in top. Cause I was getting a two in the tops and my boobs were too big. So I wear four in Lululemon tops and two in Lululemon bottoms. And now the set that I have on today is way more comfortable than the ones that I was wearing last week. Yeah. Went home after that, ate dinner, chilled and watched the movies. And that was it. Mm -hmm. These are 
eye patches I have on. I just got from Target. I think they're called like lost baggage. I just picked up some random ones. So. Yum. I'll see y'all when I get to Pilates. Like damn, she in her mood. 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 She lit, your money too. Like damn, she in her mood. In the mirror, I'm doing my dance. And you packing out nobody's pants. He a rapper. Congratulations. 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 Thank you so much. <laughs> hey girl. You too. Hey girl. Did you get all clean, Mama? Did you get all clean? Today is a Thursday. I think the last time that I caught up with y'all, it was probably Tuesday. Um, so Tuesday we went, Sinyana and Timberland and I went to the bank, the vault hidden inside the bank. 10 out of 10 food, we had some champagne, took some shots, and I have not been drinking hard liquor for the entire month of January and February. So, after we took shots, we went to, or after dinner and drinks, we went to Rose Bar. We ended up going out and I had too much to drink. My body was like, no ma'am, we have only been drinking wine. What the fuck are you doing at your age? So, yesterday, Wednesday, I was hungover and I was in the bed all day, literally, didn't even shower. I just ate and had smoothies and watched movies and slept all day because I couldn't function. Oh, last night my boyfriend told me we are going to Cancun for Valentine's Day as my gift. So with that being said, today's the what is today? The seventh? Today is the ninth. Wow. So today's the ninth. We leave on the 13th. So that really doesn't give me a lot of time to shop. I tried to order some stuff off Pretty Little Thing and do like the expedited shipping, but it still says it won't get here to the 14th. So my fingers are crossed that it comes on Saturday. Cause if not, 
when I have to work with what I have. But I did want some new swimsuits. He's actually at the mall right now trying to find me some stuff for our trip. So I'm gonna have to go get my nails done tomorrow probably. Just got my lashes done. The girl who does my hair doesn't have any openings before I leave to do just like a shampoo and style. So I'm gonna end up just doing my hair myself, which is fine. And who's this calling me? Not answering, I hate unknown numbers. Anyways, um, I'm gonna end up doing my hair myself. And then, just gonna have to be that I do still have like a couple looks that I have not worn that I've taken on previous vacations that I can try to wear that I can take so I'm not really tripping off of that part so for the rest of the day I'm probably going to just be on my computer and what else am I gonna do cook dinner I'm so out of it I just been feeling so blah, like, just blah as fuck. And tomorrow, hi, Mimi. Hi, my sweet girl. Hi, my sweet girl. Hi, my sweet girl. Can I have a hug? Can I have a hug? You're so sweet. You're so sweet giving me hug. So tomorrow, I do have a lip filler appointment, too. So I'll take you guys along with me to do that. That's when Chanel went to the groomer yesterday. Say I got all clean, I got my nails cut. I know you're not wiggling out. Say I got all clean, I got my nails done, and my face wash, and my booty clean. Clean. She is so smart. Cause why would you ever just lay here like this? You got a booger in your eye. You got a booger in your eye. There we go. Got it out. Ew. You got booger. Ew. Well, I'll talk to y'all tomorrow probably. Or tonight. This is my size too. Wow. God damn. Guys, my boyfriend is shopping for me while I'm at home on the couch because I need his ID. Oh, you can bring that Tom Ford set. To where when? Say what? To where when? I don't know. We got three days. Three outfits a day. It's nine outfits. Three swimsuits, it's 12 outfits. Oh, I got What, YSL? No, I'm Valentino. Oh. No, I'm saying YSL's closed? Valentino's closed. I'm off in St. Laurent right now. Oh. Where you at now? Gucci. Oh. Uh, just pretty much bikinis. Yeah, uh, I'm going to have. Oh, I can't do that. I like the asymmetrical. What? Yeah, what's the smallest size? Smallest size, smallest, extra small. No, in store, I have small. Small. But if I'm honestly, I'm going to be small. She's super small. Like, tiny, tiny. Um, extra. I want to uh, see if they have the slides. The, uh, that one is cute. Um, you want this one? Yeah. You want this one? If, do they have any sandals? I know they're not in season, but. Any sandals? What's up, guys? So, my boyfriend just got back from the mall, and I told y'all that yesterday he booked us a trip to go to Cancun for Valentine's Day, very last minute. So, I tried to order a bunch of stuff off a of pretty little thing but I'm not sure it's gonna make it on time. So, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. But anyway, 
we got some goodies for the trip that I want to show y'all. Y'all know y'all always get the first look at the new items. Y'all love a good luxury unboxing, don't we? Yeah. Ooh, we got a swimsuit. I should probably try this stuff on too, because I haven't tried it on. But I'll do that tomorrow. Size one. This is the top. We got a little pink action. Y'all know, I'll be sticking to pretty neutral colors, so I'm glad that I got color in the box. It covers the booty all the way, which my boyfriend doesn't like, but hey. There's not a lot of design designer swimsuits that make thongs on this bottom. I think I got one pair of Gucci on mm -hmm. Super cute, thank you. I love it. I'll probably pair that with like a white cover up in the white Hermes slide. That's my intention. Balenciaga! Balenciaga! <laughs> what? Wait, say it correctly so they don't make you slow. They know I know how to say Balenciaga. in this package. They got new packaging. Come on, Balenciaga. Ooh, got another swim. So these are the bottoms. It's just a plain black bottom. So I think he was demonstrating that the top goes like this and then it goes like this and then like this and like this. I know this is like a horrible demonstration. Dark, but 
So we just gonna be pinked out, dark pink, light pink, neon pink, all the pink. Thank you, babe. I'm gonna keep those bottoms out. He got the matching trunks to match my swimsuit. That's gonna be a cute moment. And he got matching shorts for my friend black one. Aww. He got two matching swimsuits. So cute. When you get five, please. Okay, okay, okay. I have to get my nails done. We're gonna go get some lip filler. That's exciting. And then we are going to. <laughs> We're gonna go get our nails and toes done on the wake up. Then I'm gonna go get lip filler 345. Then my mom wants to try the new crumble cookies of the week. So we gotta go get those. Things are filling up. All right. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. We got to try on our swimsuits and stuff. And then watch some wellness with Ty. I came today to get some lip filler. after they're swollen right now. It's 
super swollen. They're usually swollen for like 24 hours and then they go down and start looking normal again. So she does a super good job. Nothing too much where it looks like super obvious or like the duck lip look that girls have. So I can't wait to see what they look like after 48 hours. So I just ice them before I go to bed and when I wake up. And yeah, they don't hurt or anything. It really doesn't hurt. Um, there's like two points on your lips like at the top where it hurts a little bit, but other than that, it does not hurt at all. It's not very painful. They give you numbing cream like you guys saw, but really like on a scale of one to 10, I would say the pain level is like a three after the numbing cream. But I also do have a high pain tolerance, so it's different for everyone. But I just finished, so now I'm gonna go get my nails done. I think my mom and my boyfriend are both meeting me up there. So we're gonna have a little nail date and probably get some food. So, see y'all when we get to the nail shop. And, oh wait, I just got an update. My um, Pretty Little Thing package, it says that it's shipped and it's expected to be delivered on Monday between 9 and 12 p.m. 9 a.m. and 12 p.m. Our flight is on Monday at 2.15 p.m. So if by God's grace, my package gets delivered before we leave out the door to go to the airport, I will literally be so happy because then I'll have clothes for Cancun. So we shall see. Everybody keep your fingers crossed for me. Yes, it's good, thank you. Y'all, I hate my nails. I think it's because they're so short. And I have baby fingers. I wanted to get pink and do something different for Valentine's Day, but when I tell y'all I hate, <laughs> whatever, they'll do. And then I got my toes this color pink, this, the whole thing pink. So, they're super cute. I'm waiting on my mom to get done. She's inside the nail shop now and she is coming to eat with my boyfriend and i we're gonna go get jamaican so just waiting on that my lips are getting more swollen by the minute but yes we're gonna go get jamaican my mom wants to try the crumble cookies of the week so we might go get those after we eat Hey y'all, I'm back at home. We went and got some jerk. We went and got some oxtails and jerk chicken from this Caribbean spot. So that was good. I'm waiting on my mom and my boyfriend to get back because we're going to go to Crumble Cookies so we can try the Crumble Cookies of the week. And then today has been a long, day there's been a lot going on a lot going on after we left the nail shop we tried to go get food then my boyfriend started getting a really really bad migraine to the point where he couldn't drive his car so he drove separately we all drove separately my mom myself and him to the nail shop so and to the restaurant so i had to drive him home my mom took my truck then she came here, got him some migraine medicine. Then he left. Now my car, it, it was a lot, it was a lot. So yeah, now everybody's good, everything's good. I got a few things from Amazon. Y'all can see my lips. Now it's been a few hours, they're getting more swollen and bruised a little bit. I usually don't have any bruising, this time I do, but I guess it really depends on what you, um, if you had like caffeine or if you have been using alcohol, if you've been taking Tylenol, like all of that plays a difference in your bruising afterwards, but I usually don't get that much bruising. So we got the 
harness for the GoPro. Y'all know what that means. Footage gonna be lit in Cancun. Gonna be leave on Monday. What's this? Oh, I have, I've ordered this Beauty of Jozan. I don't know how to pronounce it, Jozan, Jozan. Um, sunscreen and probiotic. I don't know who I saw post this. I feel like I saw it on TikTok. Directions apply every evenly over face and neck at the last step in your morning and daytime skincare routine. So I feel like it's an SPF, which is gonna be perfect for when we go to Cancun. Anybody has used this, but I'll let y'all know how I like it. I heard it's a super good sunscreen. I feel like I saw someone talk about it on TikTok and then I got stuck searching videos about it. I always look for like really good quality SPS. That I'm seeing. And then I got oh, some hair clips. the little hair clips you stick in while you straighten and stuff. Let me go answer the door for her. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's not super bad, but I moved from there to here to pick her up, to take her to the phone, to take her back to the house back here. Yeah, it's a lot. I'm like, whoa, I need to buy some dogs tomorrow. My mom just got here. So then, yeah, I got these little hair clips. I don't know, I just been seeing the girls use these, so. I guess it's better than the, it's flat, so when you straighten your hair, it makes it so it don't you don't get dents in it when you like put clip it back and push it back. It's supposed to be really good. SPF. Is it primer too? Um, no, it says put on at the end of your morning skincare routine. Oh. And I've then, been doing the serum, the CC serum. Mm -hmm. I always put that on. I put. That on, and then I put on the SPF after. That's what I do. But I've been using that that vitamin C serum for a long time. I see you got a whole extra bottle there. You almost got it took. She gave me that for my birthday. Oh, she always good at getting that stuff. Yeah, I haven't used it because I like I'm literally on the last little like I can't even pump the one I have now. I have to like wipe it. it. I know, I forgot. And then I got these. So when I wash my hair, I mean when I do my skincare routine and wash my face. It won't, um, you know, y'all know, it won't get on the the hair. We should have got those things. I need some of those. The wristband things. Yeah, I saw that. Be running all it down does. my arm. I'll be. I should have got those too. I just feel like at night I'm gonna be lazy. Like yeah, now I gotta put on a whole. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do all this. I already gotta take 30 oh, minutes yeah. to wash my face. Now I gotta put on then this is a whole, a whole workout thing. outfit. To yeah, so that's all the little goodies I got from Amazon. We're about to get the crumble cookies so we can try those. Then drink some wine. Drink some wine, yeah. So I'll probably get on here to, we'll get on here to do the review for the cookies. So I'll see y'all when we get back from, from crumble cookie. Okay, y'all. So we got the cookies of the week. It is, I don't even know if this is sugar cookie but it's like the animal cracker kind. And this is called Kentucky Butter Cake. This is chocolate cake. And last is the peanut butter banana. Which one y'all want to try first? Let's not do the chocolate first. Yeah, I think gonna, we should do that last. Let's do the Kentucky butter cake, then the banana. Then okay, the, so we're gonna go counterclockwise. There we go. All right, ready? Yep. Kentucky butter cake. <laughs> Some nail just farted. <laughs> I like this one. It just tastes like a sugar cookie to me. This is something I would eat. It was just. That's a regular. That's a regular cookie. For mm -hmm. sure. Regular cookie. Like a butter butter cookie. 
But I not like a sugar cookie, because sugar cookie is sweet. Yeah, Super not sweet. sugar cookie. This is like, I can eat this. You deserve a second bite, for sure. I took a second bite, too. Yeah, it's good enough to eat. Like, I could eat a whole one. Mm -hmm. Did you notice Shalice gave her the biggest slice of the peanut butter? I almost just spit out my water. <laughs> the banana? Of course. I didn't do that intentionally. I actually was being in y'all's favor because I gave y'all each chunk of banana on yours and I didn't get one. I don't like hard banana. They're about to make me spit That's out my water. a banana water. chip. Okay. okay, so on a scale of 1 to 10, how do y'all rate the Kentucky? Maybe a seven, seven, eight. Maybe eight. Yeah, maybe an eight. I'll say seven out of ten. All right. Next is peanut butter banana cookie. Ready? Fire. <laughs> they hate it. This is fire. So if you drink peanut butter banana protein. It's just a little too, like, I'm not gonna take it. I don't want another bite. No? No, it's like too something. I don't like it. So the cookie is peanut butter. The frosting is banana. But it literally tastes like a peanut butter shake with, ban with a banana in it. I give it a three or a four. I was gonna say solid four. I'd say nine cookie. out of 10. It's a cookie. She's so. Eddie smacking. Come on. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay. Next is not this. cleansing of the palate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the way he does not like that one. I feel like. Do we feel like we don't like this next one? No. Okay. Like it's gonna be too sweet. I'm telling you right now. I don't like the, I don't like anything with confetti sprinkles in it. Yeah, that's great favorite. It's not as sweet I feel like as I it's thought. okay. I feel like it's just a sugar cookie with a little bit of frosting on it. Yeah. Like that that pink sugar cookie was way sweeter than this. Yeah. Like I can take a second bite. Mm -hmm. It kind of mm -hmm. remind me of the Kentucky one just with frosting. Mm -hmm. Good five. Yeah, I say. I like that. Six out of ten. What you say? Yeah, I give it a six. Um, it's like the last sugar cookie if they just want to put the pink icing on it. Yeah. Like a just straight sugar cookie. Mm -hmm. Now this one, I'm a little skeptical. Mm -hmm. She. It's just a lot, a lot of, of chocolate. chocolate. Mm -hmm. And that's what he like. And there's some fudge in there too. It's giving brownie. It's giving frosting. brownie. It literally looks like a brownie. It really frosting. does. Well, let's dig in. You can smell it. It smells like cake. Mm hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> he gonna want, he gonna wish he, he can have, have all of this thing. right. This yeah, one right, right there. Yeah, right mm -hmm. there. It's just like chocolate cake. Him. Don't taste like I chocolate. knew you was gonna want another one of these. Him. No, that's him. This tastes like, like a chocolate decadent, decadent cake. Nah. What do they call it? Devil's. Devil's food. That's what it. The wow. even the frosting is super rich. But it's good. Like if if wow. if you like if I would like cake, chocolate cake, nice. you definitely gonna it like this one. It literally tastes like a slice of chocolate cake. Nice. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna finish mine I'm gonna have to that down. You gotta square right there. Okay, I'll, play, I'll play mine too. You gonna eat it right now or later? Yes. <laughs> two bites, so it's like, okay. Yeah, too rich. Mm -hmm. My favorite was the ba banana peanut butter. His favorite was the chocolate cake. And her favorite was the Kentucky butter cake. And that's what we thought. Literally what we knew before we even went into it. That peanut butter banana is just no. horrible. <laughs> no, at all. Listen, I didn't talk down on y'all, so. I mean, it's just. It's a well, that concludes the end of this weekly vlog. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're trying to get a thousand subscribers, y'all. So, 
make sure you subscribe to this video and I will see y'all in the next vlog.